health run, it's expected ridiculous, and it's time to catch up with my instant ability so overpowered. Episode 11 and 12, and it just looks like Yakiri is getting closer to confronting Sion, the sage. A new psychotic character is planning to take revenge or her brother, and to do that, she might just overtake the whole world. And the highlights of Aiha being totally ruthless. I wonder if we will see more of that in this episode. So let's tune in. And what's her plan? What, what's her agenda? I can't remember. All right, so she's hunting her brothers and sisters. Basically, the whole race. Mm, I can see why. I mean, they're really cruel. The sisters reunited! Plus the gate has opened, another gate. Don't tell me she's trying to kill her! She keeps leveling, leveling every time? How? Why? <gasps> and she killed him just like that? Just on what sort of level is she on? Oh, she's a real monster. I have no clue how her power works. <laughs> yeah. Is he gonna kill the fallen gravity or, or the momentum? His momentum. Okay, that makes sense. Does it though? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> Takato, the deaf and your savior. <laughs> Don't tell him what to do. Oh, Fo has been disabled so they can use their powers freely. Yeah, but they split up, so that's a problem. Oh, how did she know? Oh, so she was on the phone to him, right. Oh. <laughs> it will not change, no matter what you do. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> so what? He was trying to kill him. Oh. That's a good uh, skill. I'd love to have a skill of teleportation. How's it flowing over her? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, she has so many powers. Amazing. So things like that happen even in the on the earth? Wow. Where would she care though? <laughs> they are so messed up, I tell you that. <laughs> saint. She's calling herself a saint. <gasps> That's fast. Oh my god, he didn't kill her! 
Oh, so the gods are in her. Oh. He's totally gross, but how is she gonna survive if she has no power? Creepy as hell. I love her dragon powers. Come on, Ayaka, you can do it! Although, she's a buddy. She's totally a buddy here. Uh, right. Just what else is possible in this world? She's <laughs> <laughs> gonna break it! <laughs> <laughs> That's bad news for Danora. She might have defensive skills, but she needs her ancient spirit. What? That's terrible news for Danora. So Yagiri must have known that's gonna happen. And he wants to keep the pervert away. <laughs> Why is he undressing though? Oh, okay, he's giving her a coat. <sighs> Don't think they can do that. Wow, I wonder how strong the idol is. <laughs> Looks like they are surrounded. Have they just exploded? Oh my god, that's so what? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> uh, right. Oh, he actually has wings. Oh well. To be expected. It's becoming a little bit repetitive and a tiny little bit boring. Hmm, it's a shame, I thought they were friends. She's a real psychopath. <laughs> oh, is that a weapon? I do like their costumes, Samurai Ninja. Ooh, that's the malice I'm doing, right? Uh, what? What is that? What happened? Wow, well that was unexpected. Hmm, very interesting. So was that this secret weapon that the uh, machine gun girl blew uh, Ayaka? Or was it actually Manasan's power of Beth and her brother? Guys, this is so messed up, but I'm gonna watch the last episode and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 
So that was a weapon from the gunslinger. Oh wow! She's gonna be a dragon! <laughs> dragon hilo! Wait, I don't want to turn into dragon. Mm, not very pretty if you ask me. I was hoping she looked more badass, just like... Mm, dragons from fairy tale their design by hero mashima is absolutely epic i love it so much but this not so much no <laughs> oh wow that's cool <laughs> army of clones it's a clone war <laughs> How convenient. As, uh, you know, suspected. I'm surprised that the dragon didn't die since, you know... Yogiri. Then you would just die. I mean... Okay, if that's what you want to do. Oh, that's why she turned into that Vyvern. So futile. I am completely lost at what is going on. It's just that everyone are dying now. Anyone who's trying to kill Yagiri for whatever reason they might have is just dying in a speed light. <gasps> Sion is here! Oh dear. What just happened to her? Why did she fell? Is she I can't believe it! He actually killed her uncle? いうのめんどくさいからやめてくれよ。つい殺すつもりになるだろ。念のために言っておくけど、心臓が止まって促進みたいな技は無駄だからな。使う前に死ぬことになる。俺が知りたいのは元の世界に帰る方法だ。Ok
目的は情報収集だけだし多少の恨みはあるけど殺したいってほどでもないから She hates her as well. Wow, he has been really lenient on her. I don't know why. Oh, she's not gonna survive Manasan, I think. Or will she? Tentacles. Manasan is stronger than Sage. Oh, she totally severed his leg. I'm starting to like Panasan. <laughs> oh wow. Befitting end for Sion. I'm so glad she won't survive. I think I feel sorry for her love to Yoichi. That seemed quite pure. But at the same time, she was so horrible and twisted. And actually not as powerful as we thought. And I don't think she felt pain since she just kept severing her limbs. Oh! Well, that's surprising. Surprising that they just decided to appear now. And someone is totally fighting them. Is that screaming guy? He's so funny! And now that's Manasan's powers, what is going on? Why this guy just popped in, someone else is fighting them, but Manasan totally got them. This is so messed up. It's just too much is going on in this anime at the same time. Like, how can you just figure out what's going on without like reading manga and try to enjoy this anime? I've heard a lot of people gave up on this title because of that. Why is he laughing? Oh, he must be a Manasan uh, follower. <sighs> so that's why he um, abducted the king, the lady king. <laughs> that was quick. It's not like really he had a choice. Can he kill that? Mm, that she wants to consume him. Right in front of you, served you on a plate. Or perhaps it's you who's been served to him. Just like that! <laughs> I hope this all is going to dissipate and disappear. It's a shame a little bit that everything is dying so quickly, you know? That's cool. Oh my gosh, she totally changed! I love her new outfit! <laughs> right her. <laughs> what do you want to? <laughs> You want him to hold your boobs. <laughs> 
So she's like a Batwoman now. <laughs> I mean, it is an interesting suit. The fact that she has Yagiri with her is a bit strange because obviously that they are heavy and I think that suit would carry them really in reality. Uh, but hey, what does make sense in this anime? Not much. <laughs> He has used a lot of power. Uh, right. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. And she recognized him straight away. Uh, Philosopher's Stone from her. Well, that was easy. And how did she know? So she thinks of Yagiri as a monster. How are they gonna clean that? Oh. I have so many questions. Can someone answer the question to me? What just happened to him? And why was he chosen by this godly, monstrous, whatever being? <laughs> and how will he do that? You don't have power to be... Oh, why? Just just eliminate this character, please. Not even remotely funny. At least Tomachika is enjoying this. Right? <laughs> Tomachika's got a rival. But why does the little vampire lady want to marry him? Such a mystery. She's from this world. She's not from the Earth. The part of origin blood, but was she from the original Earth? I'm not actually quite sure. So the final thoughts on the season. So to me personally, what started off as a very interesting anime title turned out to be a little bit chaotic. I actually struggled to follow all of the plot and I know that some of you will think, oh, what does she know? I have watched countless of animes. I've been watching anime since I was 13, like, properly. And I'm not counting watching Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z when I was little. I've literally watched so many anime titles and this one was just so confusing because you'd have to like read the manga, research characters, and actually read the comments that you yourself are leaving me under this video to finally understand what is going on and link things properly. But even then, it felt really rushed. I understand that the studio had sort of a limited budget. I can understand because this is not a, a usual story that will get a really good budget for animation. But I just wish they sort of written it in a slightly better way. And perhaps then this anime would have more fans. The animation wasn't bad at all. I like that Sion finally met her end. And it wasn't in a boring way because it wasn't actually Yagiri that killed her. It was Manasan that killed her. Kind of like karma sort of revenge. Manasan got killed by Yagiri quite easily. The fact that Yagiri was killing everything, 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 just everything on his way easily was a little, it was just getting a little bit boring. The way he was torturing Sion and the fact that she was just severing her body, I, I don't think she felt any pain whatsoever. I'm surprised that she, um, I was actually in love with, the, with her friend to the point that she was willing to sacrifice everything to protect him and, and the, in, in the end she died. I wonder if he will do something to try to revive her or pursue her because she had somewhat powers to revive herself. So perhaps the system that she created, there is a way for her lover to revive her. I don't know. Um, there's so many different rules in this world. Like the fact that Tomochika's friend was just on her way to school and she met those two cats, like a ripoff from a Sailor Moon, a white and a black cat. And they gave her different uh, powers on Earth. That was weird. 
I am surprised that people on Earth were able to grant powers without entering different world. But then the fact that the gate has opened on Earth and led to the Isekai world um, sort of proves that the magic can exist on Earth and Yagiri is just completely different being, it's just completely something else. A lot of interesting concepts, a lot of different worlds, stories and legends mixing all together, which is interesting. But like I said, it was a bit chaotic, fast paced and it was easy to lose a track of what was actually going on. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, I'd like to say that I have enjoyed watching it. I like how Tomochika has evolved, that she wasn't weak and meek, but her character was a little bit not a flat, but they didn't give her like enough emotion. There was just no time for it, so a lot of situations sort of made her look like, especially the dialogues, dial, di dialogues just made her look like she was a She's a bit of a psychopath, but then who isn't? This world is truly full of strange characters. And Yagiri trying to navigate through this, a complete and utter mess. I think if, I don't know what I would do if I was him, but I would definitely be fed up with everything. I'm not saying he should do a die on everything because that doesn't make sense, but yeah, it's just so tiring. No wonder he's sleeping all the time because he's just fed up with all of it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching this with me. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for my future reactions, and if you would like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length, early released, the link to my Patreon is down below. Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen to the link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!